What's going on everybody? Hope you're doing fantastic today. I have got a great episode for you today. I've got something that I am super excited to share with you guys. And what that is, is the coolest discovery set I've ever discovered. Is that redundant? And it comes from Commodity Fragrances. And it's their new Scent Space project. This thing is freaking awesome. It is fun for the entire family. And I'm excited to share it with you. So if you want to know about Commodity Fragrances and this new Scent Space project, then you're going to want to stay tuned. Cue that intro. What's going on, my beautiful fragrance family? And welcome back to My Two Cents. My name is Brian, and this is the channel all about helping boost your confidence through the art of fragrance, and helping you become a lasting scent member. Real quick shout out to the fragrance family. Y'all are freaking awesome. Thank you so much for the continued love and support. If you're new to this channel and you like discovering new fragrances, new fragrance houses, or talking about anything related to fragrance, you're in the right spot. Hit that subscribe button down below. While you're down there, hit that notification bell, flip it to all so that you stay notified every time I'm posting new content. Throw me up one of those likes if you enjoy today's content and leave me some comments down below because I look forward to getting to know you. Enough of me jibber jabbering. It is time to get into. <laughs> What's wrong, dude? Afraid the janitor is going to see your ding dong? Whiffs and sniffs. Full transparency, uh, commodity fragrances did reach out to me and ask me if they could send me over this exploration kit. First, I want to talk to y'all about commodity. Now, commodity fragrances, you may or may not know, they hit some financial trouble last year. I believe they actually filed for bankruptcy, unfortunately, but they got picked back up. And you may have seen some commodity fragrances popping up at rag stores, which is where I actually picked up two of my commodity fragrances. I picked up Bergamot, which is very similar to a Zerjoff Herba Pura. It's reminiscent, not exactly like it. And then Vetiver, which is my favorite out of the two that I have. And now this is the old presentation, and I'll show you the new presentation here shortly. So like I said, commodity fragrances, they got picked back up. They got rejuvenated, revamped. And in my opinion, they actually got amped up. They're doing some really awesome things over there at Commodity that I haven't heard a lot of people talking about, but I'm really glad that they sent me this discovery set. This is a discovery set that is fun for everyone. And you get to pick your fragrance based on your personality, your confidence level. You're like, what? Well, let's get into the discovery set and I'll show you. All right, so each discovery set looks just like this. And this is what the back is gonna look like. As you open it up, you actually have a book right here. There is a total of 18 fragrances. There's six fragrances and each have a different expression. Brian, what the hell do you mean? What, what does that even mean? Well, they send you this book and I'm gonna go ahead and open this book for you and I'm gonna show you. So it tells you about Scent Space Project. And so I'm gonna read some of this for you. Commodity Fragrances Introducing Scent Space. Doing away with old industry jargon. We've created Scent Space to give you greater control over the intensity and projection of your scent. Each commodity fragrance is available in three different scent space concentrations, personal, expressive, and bold. So each of the white ones, these are the personal. The middle ones are expressive. These right here with the gold lettering and they have a plus sign next to the name. These are the uh, bold. You also get a booklet of scent strips, which is also really cool. All right, let's continue. Personal, for those who prefer a subtle, intimate fragrance to be noticed only by you and by the few you allow close, soft, ethereal, and luxurious, these molecular compositions have a trace of their expressive counterpart and embody the concept of less is more. Expressive, considered by many to be the perfect balance of longevity and projection, these fragrances will make a statement without overpowering any space to be noticed by you and the many around you. And then you have bold which is, I guess, going to be their highest concentration. They're going to be beast mode, I guess you could say. There is no modesty when it comes to the bold collection. Infused with exotic notes, these are amplified renditions of their expressive counterpart, designed for those intent on making their presence known. They are for you and everyone else. What I really like about this concept is they literally have created a way for you to find a perfect fragrance based upon your personality based upon your confidence level. See, for me, I'm an extrovert, so I can go and talk to anybody. I don't know if you notice that, but I can. I enjoy talking. 
I like getting out there and meeting new people. And But then I've got a lot of friends and I know a lot of people and I'm sure quite a few of you might be more introverted. So you're a little shy, a little bit more bashful. Well, my suggestion is for me, like an extrovert like myself, I tend to like to wear fragrances that sometimes sit a little bit closer to my skin because I'm so out there, I'm so talkative, I'm very expressive that I draw people in with my voice, my personality, and then when they get close, they're like, oh, you smell good. Now, if you're more introverted, I would go with something more like bold because you let the fragrance talk for you. It helps bring people closer to you to start conversation. So, great conversation starters right here. Maybe you're right in the middle. Maybe you like the perfect amount of longevity, the perfect amount of projection. Well, then you'd go more expressive. You'd be right down in the middle. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over book with you guys because I've done all the rest of the fragrances, but I'm gonna go over book and then I'm gonna talk to you guys about the ones that I've enjoyed the most and some layering combos because I'm not big into layering, but these are perfect for layering. And just so you know what the other fragrances you have are, you have moss, you have paper, you have milk, you have velvet, gold, and we're going over book. Now, Book has been in their catalog, their portfolio, even before they got new owners. The Book was part of their um, lineup. So, here we go. So, this we're going to start out with Book, and I, it has a little minus here. So, this is just personal. So, this is going to be a little softer, quiet. And the cool thing is, also, they have a rundown of all the fragrances that are in the Discovery set. It tells you how to utilize your exploration kit. They suggest to use blotting paper first. So, here we go. Okay, mm. all right, so what they say about book, dry woody pages bound together by a crisp cover, a trilogy of nostalgic, crisp, woody scents centered around cedarwood and sandalwood. So I'm guessing there's gonna be cedarwood, sandalwood. Oh, but there's more than that. So it also has some black tea and musk in it. And I definitely get the skin musk like right up top. It's very musky. I get um, a nice dry sandalwood. I do get some black tea, like some gunpowder tea. Oh, that's good. It's fresh, it's aromatic. There is a slight, maybe bergamot sitting in the back. I'm also getting some ISOE Super. So that's the personal. It's not pop, it doesn't pop. It's, it's sitting close to the paper, which will probably do the exact same on your skin because it's more personal, but it's really good. All right, so now we are going to try Book Expressive. Book Expressive, Sense Base. It's expressive, oh, well, I already said that. This crisp, woody fragrance tips its hat to the Hemingways and Fitzgeralds of the world, conjuring the warmth of a quiet moment curled up with a good book. Its complex blend of eucalyptus, cypress, and creamy sandalwood results in an unexpectedly fresh scent. Oh, wow. Okay, so yeah, it is, it is very fresh with that eucalyptus. It's almost got like a, like a, a cooling freshness, kind of like aloe vera. I get a little bit more of like the cedar wood coming out. And I definitely get cypress. Green, it's nice and green, it's fresh, it's clean smelling, but it's very kind of masculine leaning, though all these are unisex, completely unisex. I could definitely see this uh, wearing well on a lady. So it's taking the personal and just adding a few more ingredients and making it a little bit more expressive, hence why it's called the expressive. Last one on the list is going to be bold. All right. Now, Bowl is going to be a bravado of our best seller. Amplify with the addition of smoky, velvety musks. Let's see how much more bold this is. Oh, definitely getting that uh, kind of sweet smokiness right up top. And now that sweetness kind of just fell right off because now it's just like this nice smokiness. That cedar is way more predominant. But this is popping off the paper a lot more. This is definitely a much bolder expression of the personal expression. It's really good. If you like woody fragrances, this is kind of like a dry woody fragrance that has a, a bit of a creaminess flowing through it, coming from that sandalwood. But the musks are really good. It does have this velvety feel to it. Hmm, That's very, very good. 
So as I've been toying around with this sense space project, I have found that you can layer every single one of these. There's like a hundred million ways to layer all these fragrances. No, seriously, because I counted them all. I'm just kidding, I didn't. But I mean, there's so many different ways you can mix and match this. And the reason I say this is fun for the whole family, if you have a like-minded group of friends in your group that enjoy fragrances, or hell, even if they don't enjoy fragrances, y'all could grab a bottle of wine or two, or a bottle of whiskey, or a six pack of beer, or a case of beer, whatever, however much adult beverages you wanna consume, and y'all could sit around and have fun with this. Finding a fragrance that fits you, who you are, your personality, your confidence level. This could also help boost your confidence and help you make you a memory because you can, you can make your own fragrance. And I'll tell you what I mean. So I have four different layering combos that are my favorites. So if you take paper expressive and moss expressive and put them together, what do you get? you get this really nice green, mossy, woody, slightly spicy, and musky fresh combo. It's so good. Velvet Plus and Milk Expressive. This one is one of my favorites. It's like an oriental spicy mixed with a nice creamy sandalwood, some nice resinous amber, a little bit of vanilla, like a vanilla ice cream. It's, it's so good. It's so good. Next, we have Moss Bold and Gold Bold. Now this is like, imagine Aventus without any pineapple. It's more focused on that oak moss, a little bit of like a black currant vibe. There's almost like a little fruitiness and that's coming from patchouli mixed with this really nice creaminess and this really nice velvety musks. It's so good. And last but not least is Gold Personal with Velvet Expressive. This is nice floral, nice aromatic. It's this creamy pedigree, this creamy, beautiful velvety musks, a nice woodiness and just a slight spiciness, but it sits a little bit closer to your skin and it's really, really good. There are three out of this bunch that I'm definitely gonna be picking up. Gold Expressive, this is one of my favorites. This is based around sandalwood, vanilla, and amber leans on the gourmand side it's just enough longevity just enough projection to just be gorgeous i mean it's so good it's creamy it reminds me of a nice vanilla ice cream with a little bit of a chocolatey nu nuance to it or like a chocolate confectioner's sugar it's really good paper plus it's funny because paper as i've been sitting there testing out paper it actually smells like paper this one actually is quite reminiscent of uh, Mesa Margiela's Whispers in the Library, which is one of my favorites from Mesa Margiela. Never gets talked about, but this this goes a, like a little bit of a different direction, but it does remind me of like, like vintage books, like rummaging through the stories in an old book. It's really good. It's musky, spicy. It's got this nice, like almost like tonic feel to it. It's creamy. I believe there's sandalwood in it. I saw it's super, mm, so good. And my all time favorite is Milk Plus. Oriental Spicy Gourmand. Mm, my God, my God. It does kind of remind me of like Alexandria um, from Orman Jane or Alexandria II from Zerja, but a little bit different. The amber in it is this really rich, almost brulee amber. You got some mahogany in this as well. Oh my God, it's so good. So commodity fragrances, they're back and they are bringing out some fire. I'm gonna say, I think commodity is a hot commodity right now. And you definitely need to check out this discovery set. How much do you think this discovery set is? Let me know in the comments down below. Oh, of course I'm gonna tell you, but drop me a comment down below. Also, let me know, have you tried anything from commodity and what are some of your favorites? Have you tried this discovery set? What do you think about it? So the price for their discovery says $38. I was flabbergasted when I saw that. I was like, what, $38? I mean, discovery sets like this go for like a hundred bucks. I was kind of blown away. So to go over some pricing with you, 
their personal collection, these white bottles, they're going to be $105. Their expressive collection are going to be $125 for 100 ml. These are all 100 ml bottles. Their bowl collection goes for $145 for 100 ml. For really nice niche quality, these are really good. Now, I will say this. I don't see them using a whole lot of natural ingredients in a lot of these. They use a lot of aroma chemicals and synthetics, but they blend them so well. But that's okay. Synthetics are not bad. Most of your fragrances, 95% of your fragrances on the market has synthetic qualities and synthetic ingredients. But it's okay because these are blended so on their website, they do have this line, that, uh, but they're all out of stock. It says they're, they're gonna be back in stock soon, which I hope they are, because I see that they have whiskey that's gonna be coming back out, which that's one I've really wanted to get my nose on. They also have wool, they also have vetiver and bergamot, nectar and gin, and it also looks like they're gonna be coming in bottles like this, but different labeling, I believe. They'll come in clear bottles with a white label or black bottles with a black label. I'm pretty excited about it. Let me know, have you tried any of these? Did you pick up any of the uh, commodity fragrances while they were hitting up at rack stores? But I highly suggest getting your nose on this exploration kit. This is the coolest discovery set I've ever discovered. Again, is that redundant? Here at my two cents, I don't have friends. All I've got is family. And this discovery set would be fun for the whole family. All right, guys, that's it. I hope you all have a fantastic rest of your day. If you enjoyed today's episode, then do me a favor. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. And always remember, you are stinking beautiful. And until next time, happy scent trails. <laughs>